Hey guys, it's Alexei, and in this short, hopefully sub 10 minute video, I'm gonna go over how to set up WordPress in the Enfold theme on your Namecheap hosting because it's my favorite hosting with my favorite content management system and my favorite theme. So, once you buy some hosting and a domain name on Namecheap, you'll be able to log into your cPanel. Details should be in email. You just scroll down and you go WordPress, and then you press install. And then you pick which folder you want it to be. I want it to be in small business. And obviously, if you just want it to be on your regular domain, like my website is Ace5 Studios, and don't type anything in and just leave it. Plug in your blog name. You can change these later. Admin also can change this later. And just scroll down and press install. And in a matter of minutes, you should have your WordPress installation all done, just like that. It's magical. There you go. See? Done. Now we can open our website and our admin. So website doesn't have anything useful yet. It's just a blog. And our admin, let's log into admin, pass. And here we have it. We have our control panel. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to install the theme because we want to install our enfold. So press add new, press out, upload theme, choose a file. There it is. And press install now. And then it'll be uploading here in the bottom corner, as you can see. And I'll see you once it's nearly uploaded. And there we go, we're 95%, 97%, and we're done. And now it's gonna take a couple, you know, a bit more, maybe a minute to unpack some stuff in the background. Don't worry, don't hit refresh, just, you know, wait for it. It says waiting for your domain, so just let it just do its thing. It's gonna, you know, there you go. And now it's gonna say unpacking package, and it's gonna say installing package, and just give it time. It shouldn't take you know more than like five minutes altogether or something. And then we'll have our theme installed. And really, that's pretty much the you know the technical stuff kind of done. So there you go installing theme. After this, you just have to figure out how to use the theme, and it's very straightforward. And I'm going to show you. There's a quick thing which Enfold has, which is really useful. Is it lets you load in all the sample pages they have so you can take them apart and see how they were built you know without having to you know improvise that much there you go activate and we have enfold here now this is the way you want to go you want to go demo import and oh look there's even some there's a whole bunch of new ones since i've done this when i did it there was only one so um let's install well, let's install this one. This is the one that they have online. So let's. This is the online demo. And it shows you what you get. So basically, these are the template files that you have. You can create them yourself, but these will load them up for you. Do you load them all up, or I just click on it? Oh, yeah, click to import. There you go. And this dummy data will come in and import it. You can also have a look at the small business one. Oh, this is really nice too. Look at all these sound. God, these guys are just building stuff. Every day, just more and more stuff. These guys are on fire. Anyway, I'm loading in this one because it has lots of different, like, different head, you know, different front pages with different portfolios. There's like Ajax portfolios and all this stuff. And what it does is it, once it loads it, there you go. Now you can go to pages and it has all the types of all the pages are loaded and it has four pages worth of pages that you can find how they're built. So let's say we want to have a look at, let's go home landing page style one. So we want to see how they did this and you know how they got to sample this thing working. And that's what you can do. You can now go to your pages and you go, so this was the home V1. So let's find our home V1. Probably just searching this thing. Now there it is. Just home page, even easier. And here it is. You wanna, this is good. And you can see, see how it check it, green power, recycle that. And you can see what they look like here. Although this isn't the same one, obviously. Or maybe it is, let's press preview and see what it looks like. Preview changes. And this is actually, this one is the one that's on our domain. Yeah, there it is. They have just different words to the demo. And you can, so it shows you how this is made. We have images and stuff. And 
you know, it's all it's all like in little nice blocks, so you can click on everything. You can click on edit layer slider, and you can change all the pictures in it. And you can see what these things are called. So if you click on, for example, on this one, you can see this is an icon box. And then you'll be able to find the icon box in content elements, that your icon. Let me quickly make a, now that you know that all these pages exist, let's make a new page. I'll just show you why this is great for building layouts. Let's make a new page, switch to the layout, advanced layout editor, because we want this. And now we can, for example, add columns. We can, let's say, first I want a block of information, which is all the way across. And then I want three blocks of information. And then I want a two third block and a one third block. And also you can change the size of all these as well. You can scale them down, you can move them up depending on how you want to split your content. And then you just fill these things up with content. So let's here, let's insert a, what can we insert? Let's call this a test page. Let's insert, for example, this will be team members, right? Let's drag these guys in. Click on this one. Let's pick an image from the ones that they uploaded. Let's go B, insert. This will be B-Man. And our title is Flower Gatherer. And we can have a description about the bee. And we can save it. And then this can be someone else. You know, we can put another image down. Let's say this is going to be Mrs. Hot Air. And we can save it. And then, for example, here at the top, I want to add my easy slider, right? So easy slider. I'm going to click on the slider and we can pick which images we want. So we want all these images in there. Insert image, save. And now we can do a quick preview and see what it looks like. And as you can see, we have our slider at the top. Now you'll see that we got this ugly sidebar here, which we really don't need. So we just come back here and sidebar setting and we just go there you go, no sidebar. And let's click preview again. Go back to this tab. There you go, no sidebar. And we've built our first home page. So we have these, you know, little uh, tags for the people. And we can keep adding things. You know, it's really easy. You just pick, you can add videos or images or images with hot spots and just drag and drop everything. That's, you know, exactly how I got how I built my website. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot of videos and it's really straightforward. There's no code involved. You even have like an email form, which is great. I love this thing. Um, where is it? Nope, is that it? Contact form. There you go. So let's say I want a contact form here and here I want a text block. And this text block will just say something about you, for example. About me. You know, I like to communicate about my business and you can save it and then here contact form and you can pick where you want it to go and you can say what it says you say let's work together on something and you can pick which elements you want you know do you want an email do you want a subject For example subjects usually I find useless so I get rid of that I just want the name the email and the message but if you want you can add a new one and you can it's just element you can name it whatever you want form element label you know shoe size and you can even have different you know imports you can have check boxes and stuff whatever it is and you gotta save let me go back to our preview and it updates there we go now we have our contact form we have text information here which you can tell them a bit about yourself and you can drag all of this is drag and drop you know it's just so incredibly convenient and that's it. There we go. I got another 10 minutes. In nine minutes, I showed you how to set up an Enfold page, an Enfold site pretty much with WordPress with your hosting and Namecheap. Don't forget to follow the links below the video or on the article that you saw this video in because they help me make more stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this is helpful. Be sure to check out the article if you just found this video randomly for other stuff. This was Alexei from Ace5 Studios. See you next time.